everybody. Welcome to Missouri Star Live. Happy Tuesday. We are so excited to be spending our day with you. Uh, we appreciate you being here. Let's see where you guys are tuning in from. We have Karen from Pennsylvania. We got Sue uh, from California. Awesome. Wendy from Sweden. Thank you. Thank Suzanne you. Suzanne from Florida. Debbie from New York. Shannon from Alaska. You Sherry guys are... from Ohio. Awesome. You guys are so awesome for being here. We really, really appreciate you. So we have uh, something fun today. When I saw this fabric line and the panels that go along with it, I just fell in love with it. It's so stinking cute. Um, it is called- Yeah, Saf you guys are gonna love this. It's this seriously the cutest. Be amazing. It's called Safari Life by Stacey E. Hugh for Moda. And let me just open this up and show you some of these prints because seriously, they're adorable. I love her fabric collections because they're always so whimsical and cute. Look at these. Like, come on, you guys. Look at all these prints. Ooh. It's so cute, and the colors ah. are so fun. Look at this, these lions. Look at them. They're so cute. So who anyway, is this designer? Her name is Stacy E. Hugh. I've done um, some of her, I've shown some of her other fabrics before in the past on live. I just have, I'm becoming quite a fan of hers. I really, really love her stuff. It's so, so cute. And like I said, these colors are right up my alley. Um, and it, it's such a, a fun line for little boy. And I happen to have lots of people with little boy babies or having little boy babies that I know. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna dive right in and get started on this. And so I wanna show you a couple of the panels that go along with this live because they are so cute. Yeah, the line is great, but our real live is on... Is on the panels. We're gonna go over these panels because they're adorable. So first up, there is a panel to make this really cute uh, soft book. So let me show you this. I'll open it up so you can see the whole thing. Okay, Catherine's wanting a spelling on the last name so she can type it in, I think. So it's... It's uh, actually in the description. Yeah, so it's in the description, but I believe it's I-E-S-T space, and then is it H-S-U? Is it on that little tag? Yeah. Probably, but I don't know where I put it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so here is this first panel, the Safari Life soft book panel. Is it not so cute? Adorable. So it has all the pieces you need to make this little book, and let me just go through it with you because it's adorable. I had a lot of fun making it. So you open it up. Lions like to roar, and this flips open, and the lion roars. Yeah, I do have to say I was a little doubtful about this book. I just but when she finished it, I was like, this is great. It's adorable. Hippos like to yawn, so sleepy. Oh, it's adorable. Giraffes like to eat. Elephants like to wave, so his little ear waves and says hi. There's a bird hiding under there. Zebras like to hide. And then on the back, my favorite little part, there are finger puppets. They're so cute. Look. <laughs> I just love it. I Miss love it so much. the happy place. Finger puppets. Finger puppets. I, actually, when my kids were little, I had a ton of finger puppets, and they had like one of those little play stages, and we would play. <laughs> it was so fun. Either way, this is adorable, and this panel is so reasonably priced. And so I thought you guys would love to see it. The other panel, let me show you here, is to make some cute little stuffed animals that go along with it. Look at these, lion, zebra, giraffe, they're so cute. We're actually gonna make the elephant today. Look at this one. I mean, the only problem here, guys, is is this like, we just showed you three projects you have to buy. I know. Because <laughs> you can't like get I, one. I don't really even feel bad because they're so cute. So like you can get the fabric, make a quilt, have the little stuffed animals and the little book to go with it. It's, it is the cutest thing. Some little, little grandbaby or, or, or baby need, needs it. I just know it. It's so stinking cute. So here we or go. Or if you're into finger puppets. Or if you really love finger puppets. <laughs> That's exactly right. Anyway, so this is adorable. You can see here, um, I, I got started already and made a few of the animals from this panel. I made our giraffe, our zebra, and the little lion, and they are just so cute, and they were really, really simple. And if you noticed on the panels, there are great instructions for each of them included. So you just go, you know, 
one by one. Here's how you do the lion. Here's how you do the elephant. And it breaks it all down for you. Each of your pieces are labeled. So, you know, here's piece A and piece B, and that corresponds to the instructions. So it's really straightforward. Yeah, so today's project, we're going to be sewing one of the stuffed animals. I do got to give a shout out to Beth, who's driving through Missouri right now. Oh, Beth, make a pit stop if you're anywhere close. Come visit us in Hamilton. We would love to see you. And it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, so not too shabby. All right, so all you do, the, the seam allowance is already built in for you on this panel. So you literally just cut on the line. And so you can see I've cut out my pieces here for my elephant. Here's my body, my tail pieces, and my ears. Now I want to point out on the ears, I did use um, kind of a mid-weight single side fusible interfacing. And you take um, one side of each ear and you're going to fuse that. So I have this one already fused to that interfacing um, just to give it a little bit of stability because the ears are going to, you know, stick out and flap around. So we want it to have some body there. So somebody, I have done that. Somebody was saying it'd be a good gift for like somebody interning at a zoo. Oh, that's true. Cool. It would be so cute. I just, you know, I'm, I'm thinking back on um, when my kids were little and I would have loved so much to have had all these pieces to put together for their crib or their little bed. It would have been so cute, but you know, they're getting kind of big now. So now I'll just pass this on to someone who has a little one. All right, so I've taken my pieces. Um, the one side, like I said, has the fusible. The other is just the straight fabric that I've cut out and I'm gonna lay those right sides together. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam all the way around and I'm gonna leave this straight side open so I can use that to flip it and turn it right side out. All right. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, just comment them. I'm trying yeah. to follow as best as I can. Okay. That's That was definitely proper English, <laughs> as best as I can. I did backstitch there just to lock it in since I'm gonna be uh, flipping it right sides out. I don't wanna bust my stitches. And these curves are nice and gradual, so I can pretty much just pivot as I go on this ear here. Just take your time trying to maintain that quarter inch seam and making sure our fabric stays lined up. Barbara says our videos are so fun. Thank you, Barbara. I mean, I said our videos, but I think she meant yours. <laughs> it's a team effort. We'll take it. So we're just going nice and slow around those curves so they come out smooth. And then we're going to come down here and backstitch again. Remember leaving that opening. Trim my threads. Now on this, I was really careful to trim my threads as I went along because I didn't want to fight with them later on in the project, having strings sticking out everywhere. So I'm just going to take a minute and do that. And then Laura, now- Laura, wait, Laura just said she got on, just got on. You didn't miss much. We yeah, just we're started. Yeah, we're just getting started. I showed some really cute panels uh, that go along with the Safari Life line from Stacy E. Hugh from Moda. And we're making an elephant right now from the panel. And so I've just sewn the ear all a quarter inch around this, the whole edge. And well, not the whole edge, I've left an opening on the straight side. And so from now you can either use pinking shears to trim up the bulk, or I'm just gonna put a few uh, little snips in there. Just make sure you don't cut through your stitch line just to make sure that this will turn and lay nicely for us. So did you put a stabilizer on that? On one side of the ear. It's a lightweight stabilizer, yep. correct? Yep. All right, and I found that this is pretty forgiving as far as um, clipping the curves goes. You just wanna make sure that you can get it all turned the way you want it. I also have been using the chopstick that comes with the polyfill to really turn my edges. And there's lots of tools you can use, but this one has worked great for me on all of these. So we're just gonna come around and make sure our seams are turned out all the way. That looks pretty good. So we're gonna take it over here and give it a press. 
Joyce is saying her husband said that she spent so much money with us, we should name a wing of a building after her. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's pretty good. All right, so we've done that. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take my little open end and I'm just going to turn it under a quarter inch. We'll press that again. We'll do that on both sides of the fabric here. I just kind of eyeball this. Get it where I want it, and then I'll take it back to the machine and press it. Oops, my steam just went everywhere. A little over full. There we go. All right, so you can see that's all tucked inside. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera or not, but there is a little guideline right here on the body of our elephant that shows where we're supposed to attach the ear. And so I want to make sure that I have this turned the right way to match the piece I've already done. So I'm checking it here and then I'll flip it here and I'm gonna line it up right along that line there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then I'm gonna pin this in place. So they're asking what they need to buy for this? So what you need for this is the panel and a little bit of interfacing and, and some polyfill, and that's so the, it. So the stuffed animals are one panel. Yep, the stuffed the animals book. are one panel. And if you, if you want the book panel, you will need both some interfacing and some fusible fleece. It uses both of those. To make the book. To make the book, But it's yep. a different panel than the stuffed animals. Exactly, they're completely separate. And there are, um, there's uh, supplies listed on the panels themselves with those instructions that tell you if you need anything extra, exactly what you need. I saw someone mention the crinkle fabric for the Oh, book. yes, that crinkly fabric inside the book would be so fun because, you know, babies love all those textures and noises, so that would be perfect. Okay, so we have this in place. Now we're just going to take this to the machine and we're going to top stitch, top stitch, excuse me. Um, just about an eighth of an inch away from there, and that's going to close up our opening and also attach it to the body of the elephant. So let's do that. And remember, you do want to lock your stitches in place here because you don't want this to come loose, so make sure you back stitch. Stitch again at the top. Yeah, so there is a, a lightweight stabilizer in the ear, but they're saying throw a little bit of batting and there would be kind of fun too. Oh, absolutely. I think that's what's so fun about projects like this is you can really just make it work with what you have around most of the time. So it turned out really great. So now we have both of our body pieces with the ears attached. And so when we go to sew these together, we're going to tuck these in. But the next thing we want to do is get the little tail ready. So this one, all I did, I decided not to use interfacing on it, and it doesn't call for interfacing on the pattern part. So we're just going to put these right sides together. And maybe put a little pin in there just so it doesn't shift if you feel like it. And we're just going to sew with a quarter inch seam, leaving this straight side open to turn it. So we'll take it to the machine and do that. Okay. They're saying pre-K teachers would love these. Oh, for sure. Okay, so I've, I'm keeping my needle down. I'm just going to pivot a little bit here. There's kind of a, a little angled flare out on the tail. So we're just going to pivot around that and come to the point. Keep my needle down again and turn. And same thing until we get all the way around it. Oops. Just make sure your pin is not anywhere close to where you're stitching. If it is, go ahead and slide that out of there. Okay. 
Again, trimming off those extra threads so they don't stick out on us later. Misty, do you uh, suggest a walking foot to do the book? Yes. Did a you use one? I didn't use one because I think I've told you guys in this, this in the past. I am just a sit down and sew type of girl and I just make do. And if I had run into any trouble, I would have switched to the walking foot. I didn't have any trouble on my machine. But to be safe, with all those layers and thickness, absolutely use a walking foot. So you could do it without, but if you have one, yeah, it might I think be nice. it kind of just depends on the machine because I know, you know, my older machine, I probably could not have sewn through all those layers without the walking foot, but um, I was able to on this machine that I'm I'm sewing on here. So I really just think if you're if you're struggling, if you run into any trouble, put on the walking foot and it'll make all the difference. Okay, so now I'm gonna clip off my. Uh, corners here just to reduce this bulk. Again, make sure you don't uh, cut through your seam line. And then we're just going to turn this. And I do that by kind of pinching this side here and then using my chopstick to kind of push it through just gently so we don't break through any of the stitches. And then you can pull it right through. Linda, we just got on. Well, we've been on for 17 minutes, sorry. <laughs> and then again, I'm using that chopstick to come in here and carefully poke out the corners of the tail just to make sure all my seams are going where I want them to go. And then we need to give write a, a strongly worded email to Facebook and YouTube. Send your live notifications on time, dang it. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now our tail is ready. So now we can take all of our pieces, our ears are sewn onto the body, we have our tail, and it's just gonna go right here on the rear end of our elephant. And we're just gonna go ahead and pin that in place. So that's where we want it. And then like I mentioned, we don't wanna catch these ears when we're stitching. So I'm gonna fold it over like this and I'm gonna put a pin in it to keep it out of the way. You can see that gives us plenty of clearance all the way around. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Pin this ear out of the way. Ta-da! All right, so now we're just gonna lay these right sides together. And this is one of those instances where because of the bulk in the middle, you really do wanna pin just to keep everything lined up where you want it. So I'm going to start here with my little trunk. Got that ready. Put a pin in there and just make my way around. As we go, Any questions while I'm working on this or everybody feeling good? We got Linda that just was a, is new to the chat. So welcome, Linda. Welcome, Linda. Thanks for being um, here. We also had some questions on the, they were wondering if the handle came in the, yep, the handle, part of it. Yep. Everything you see here is included in the panel. And after we're done sewing this together, we they want to see both the panels. So. I will do that again. That is easy. Okay. So I'm gonna and put they, another... they asked if the book was easy. It was it was easy. It was more time consuming, but it was easy. There's just a lot of more a lot more seams. Yeah, right? a lot more seams, and you do really want to pay attention to the pattern because certain things need to happen in, in the right order. But like I said, the instructions are right there on the panel for you, and so it was no problem. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave a little section. Actually, you know what? Wait. I was gonna leave the stomach, but I'm gonna leave it back here on this back leg. That's where I'm gonna leave a hole to turn this. I think that'll be the easiest spot, the most straight. So in that case, I'm just gonna start here, remember to back stitch and make my way around our elephant. I'm gonna put one more pin up here too, just yeah, Happy birthday, Joyce, tomorrow. Happy birthday. Tomorrow. Another September girl. All right. Where's Copper, isn't it her birthday? I think hers is coming up, yeah. She's because over birthday bash time. All right. Back stitch. Hopefully I don't run into any trouble. 
making some noise here. All right, there we go. Again, with a quarter inch seam. Keep your needle down. Lisa, listen. I, I tricked her, tricked her, I tricked her into it. What are you talking about? They're talking about you. They're like, how the heck did this guy? <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. All right. These are kind of tighter curves here around the belly. So we're just going to take our time. And stop and lift your presser foot if you need to. Because remember, we want it to be accurate. Although this is pretty forgiving. So you won't run into any trouble if you have to have a little bit extra seam somewhere. Oh, Michelle has a birthday on Saturday. Happy birthday, Michelle. I have a September birthday too. So fun. All right, and pivot again. Well, one stitch too far, so I backed up right there. Get my needle back where I want it. Yep, using a quarter inch seam on this. Um, it tells you pretty much you're either gonna use a quarter inch seam or an eighth inch seam on both of these panels, the quarter inch for all the regular construction, eighth inch for any you know finishes or attaching like the ears like we did. We used a narrower um, eighth inch seam. Brenda says it looks easy. It, it is easy. It is easy, it's so fun. And I never would have thought that I would stitch up any type of stuffed animal because I kind of have a, a loathing for them at my house, <laughs> but they are so cute. And I really like these ones, so. So maybe that's the, the ticket. If I make them, then I'm all right with it. All right, so the, the little trunk is the trickiest part, so just take your time. And it's only tricky because the curves are a little more sharp. So just take your time and pivot as you go. But you can do this. So remember, you can stop and lift your presser foot as you need to make those curves. Gina's asking how much the panels are. I think that information is in the description. Yeah, so if you go to the link to our website that's in the post, it'll take you right to the panels and it has all the pricing and information there for you. Wait, Denise had a auto, t auto correct. I gotta find it now, see what <laughs> she said. I have the car quarter, I like it. All right. We are almost done here, guys. Making our way across the back. Making sure everything's staying where I want it. But taking the time to pin really makes this pretty quick. We just got the tail in there. I'm gonna take a few more stitches down here. Back stitch again. Remember, I've left an opening here. It's probably about four or five inches to be able to turn this. I mean, Linda, if you end up with 150 grandkids, you're gonna have your work cut out for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of elephants. All right. So now remember to be careful of the pins because we have some on the outside and we also have some on the inside from the ears. So that's the only thing you need to watch for when you go to turn this. But we are just going to do we ship to Australia? We do. We ship all over the world. There's our little tail. So cute. If you pay enough shipping, I'll deliver it to you. <laughs> yeah, me and Michael will take your order and fly you over. <laughs> there we go. Take those pins out. 
So now I just want to reach inside here. That's really the ticket. You just want to leave your opening big enough that you can get your hand in there or whatever tool you're using to turn things to get all your corners. I also got so excited I didn't clip any of my corners. You probably want to do that, although these still turned just fine. But if you want to get rid of that extra bulk, take the time to do that. I did do that on the other ones. All right. So we're pushing the legs out here. Some people are asking if you could applicate the animals on a quilt. Oh, um, easy I, peasy. I bet you could. Yeah, just use half of them, turn it under, and applique it. That would be really cute. All right, let's see here. Make sure we're getting all of our seams just the way we want it. What am I? What am I losing here? Oh, the trunk. I'm like, what is stuck in here? The elephant's <laughs> trunk. <laughs> that makes sense now. All right, so let's get that pushed out. There we go. Uh, the sewing machine we're using is the Jubilant. Yep, Baby Lock Jubilant is what I'm sewing on today. Okay, there we go. That is all good to go. So now we're just going to put some filling inside. How cute is that? Make sure all of our seams, I kind of like to just roll my seams, make sure they're exactly how I want them and they're not sneaking inside. There we go. So then you break out the polyfill and just start stuffing. I feel like you have to put some stuffing inside for them to really take shape and turn out so cute. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's so cute, right? Um, you get the pattern should be in the description. The pattern's on the panel. Yep, the instructions the are included with the panel. I'll show you one more time and point out where they are. I just put a little filling inside. Dun, dun, dun. All right, there you go. You get the idea. Either way, it's so cute. So our elephant and all the other little friends that come with him. Yeah, we want to lion, see the panels again. If you lion. Can. Yep, I'll get there. Lion, zebra, giraffe. That's what is included on this first panel. I'll show you here. I just want you guys to know I cut that giraffe out. <laughs> he, he was very helpful. <laughs> here we go. So here is the Safari Life stepped animal panel. And you can see right here along the top that has your individual instructions for each animal. And also the supplies are listed right here. Do you want to lay it on the table? Maybe we can get a top cam sure. of it. Absolutely. I don't know if it'll be any better, but we'll see. Right here. So see, single side, fusible interfacing, needle thread, polyfill, and then your instructions for all of the animals are on there. So that is the one panel. So that's stuffed animals. Yep, that's the stuffed animals. And then let me show you the book panel one more time. That's to make this cute little book with yeah, all the- Yeah, hold that down flat and kind of flip through that. Yep, all the fun pages. So cute. I think the book the book was like, oh, this seems... It Jake just was seemed, not on board for the book. I was not on board for the book. And I was it, like, it's going to be so cute with the little finger puppets in the back. So there's that. Well, and kind of the cool thing about making it is then, you know, it's a little sturdy. You could throw it in the washing machine. Oh, it'd be thing. perfect. Like, I always loved these soft books for, like, at church on Sunday. So my kids were... It was quiet. It would keep them entertained, but it was quiet, you know? Okay, so here's this... Make sure I've got it turned right. Here we go. This is the book panel. All your pieces are included there. Terry and says she just had a grandson last Wednesday. You need this. It's time it's, to hop it's on It's perfect. It. It's absolutely perfect. And so again here, shows your supply list and all of your instructions. It breaks it down by page and then tells you how to assemble it. Super, super simple and so much fun. I really, really, really love this line. Like I said, you can get the fabric to go with it to make an adorable quilt. It's called Safari Life by Stacey E. Hugh Fermoda. So I hope you guys, guys enjoyed yeah, this. You guys were awesome. Yes, thank you so much for being here. And, and go make something and have fun. <laughs> and yep. we will see you well, hopefully 
Hopefully we'll be coming to you with a little bonus live this week. We're heading out to the Garden of Quilts um, in Utah at the Ashton Gardens. It's a giant uh, quilt show. We're going to give a shout quilts. out to Mary. Mary's yep. out there. Mary is already there. So Cheyenne's been helping in her place, but I am heading that way soon uh, to join in on the fun. So we're going to hopefully go live and, and show you some of those beautiful quilts live from the garden. So tune in for that. And otherwise, we will see you soon. Yep. See you guys later. Thanks.